ladies and gents and welcome back to another Celtic Summer Transfer Talk video. Today's video, I wasn't actually expecting it, I was also this morning I did a video on Lee Griffiths extending his contract, I made my opinion on that uh, earlier in the guy, earlier, uh, to today's earliest video guys, so if you haven't checked that out, check it out after this video because Celtic are delighted to announce the signing of Ozazi or Hog Hyde on a four year contract, that is going to be a name and a half to say. A four year deal from Sheffield Wednesday, another Sheffield Wednesday player, a highly rated 20 year old defender has attracted um, interest from a number of um, top top clubs in England and Europe but he opted to join Ange Postacoglu's Celtic team. Born in Ireland's Ozazi, or as as we're going to go as a Ozazi, Ozazi? Moved to England as a child and his professional football career began with a, a AFC Wimbledon before joining Sheffield Wednesday in 2019, where he went on to make 21 appearances for the club. Speaking of the new signing Celtic manager, Ange Postacoglu said it's great. He's someone that the club has been trying for a while. And when I came on board, I managed to have a meeting with him and he was a, a good young man. He's very ambitious. Um, he's just beginning his football career, but he shows all the attributes and on and off the field to become a, a top player. So it's great to ha have him here. Uh, he can play a, a couple of positions at the back and, mo and most importantly he's keen on to learn and develop and I think this is this will be a great environment for him. So he says here as Postacoglu, a couple of positions at the back, so we're talking maybe as well as a centre back, maybe left back, right back, potential here, but potential here. So be present but more than likely Celtic are needing a right a right back. So more like likely Ange Postacoglu is going for someone who can play either centre-back, you know, if uh, Julian's get injured maybe, something like that, or, or centre-back of course, because maybe Ayer's going in the summer. Welsh, so for example, if we're going up with a line-up with Welsh and Julian, you can see this guy, um, Ozazi, at the right-back. I've never heard him in my life, um, until today, this morning, after I've done that video, I was like, reading about him and all that stuff, and apparently we're in various talks, close to getting him in there. Um, like an hour ago, I seen a tweet and he said he left Sheffield Wednesday saying thank you, Sheffield Wednesday, all that stuff. You know what I mean? And I thought, no, he's not going to sell it, is he? But there you go. Uh, he's a modern foot, more defender. He's good athletically. He's mobile. He's quick and he wants to get on the ball. He can play a couple of different positions. And from our perspective and the way we want to play our football, there are certain things I can look for in players. Uh, Irrespective of, of age, and he's got some really good attributes to be a top defender. That's what we need. We need a top defender right now, because this rebuild is going to is huge. And we, the defenders we've got right now, it's not there. And this uh, and just saying he's a top defender. Hopefully, is the most important thing is he's got a real desire to reach, <coughs> reach the very top. He's excited about joining the club, which is important to me because that's the first thing I want to hear from players that they're really keen to join us. There we go. I mean, it follows the news obviously from uh, earlier on where we spoke about um, we spoke about um, Lee Griffiths getting a one-year contract extension. So yeah, um, it's going to be interesting, very interesting. It's a four-year contract. He is um, the highly promising defender. Is comfortable at both centre back. I was right, centre back and right back. Hopefully, the first of many signings. Wow, I. We got this over the line, which is great. I can't believe we got. I mean, it could be a top class. It's, it's what we need. It's what we need. First of many for defenders. <coughs> and when I seen this, right? Like, when I seen it online, the Celtic shot before we go on. Uh, before I finish this video, I thought, no, it's just a, a bit, you know, just copy and paste off from the black, the, the black uh, third kit from last season. But when you look at it in person, mate, off. Oh, uh, it's brilliant. Um, but yeah. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he has joined Celtic on a four-year contract. So, <coughs> it's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting. Um, so, yeah. Um, he's also going to join his ex his teammate at Celtic now, Liam Shaw. So, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Very interesting now. Um Alright guys, so what, just tell me about, I just told you a wee bit about him and what his preserve, preserve position is and what Ange Postcog got to say on the signing. Alright, so watch you guys, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video very shortly.